What's good with you, bro? What's the word, baby? Man, sounds go hard, man. Good to link up with you. Go! You already know what's going down, man. Shit show. Street certified. What's the word, baby? Man, appreciate it, man. We cool. So yes, first, 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 man. Let everybody know, bro. How you get the name Sauce Gohan, bro? That sounds like that's a crazy name. I, I you know, I understand yeah. with the Sauce Factory, <laughs> but let us know. Well, like first, like I, right, when I, as growing up and shit, me and me and Walk, you feel me? I my favorite anime period was Dragon Ball Z. Like that's period, like right now, period to the day, Dragon Ball Z. So when I'm a Sauce, I'm a Sauce baby. So at the end of the day, Gohan is the baby of. Is, is is Goku son? Goku is Sauce Walker. You see what I'm saying? So Sauce Gohan. That's how Sauce Gohan came up. You like Go? I see Goku son. Yeah. So. Say so. Like who is Sauce Gohan? Like like who? How would you classify yourself as an artist? Well, like shit. Like Sauce Gohan. I I am a I am a drip. I am a drip rapper. I don't rap. I, I am a drip rapper. I I, I rap about shit shit that changed people's lives and i don't i'm not a drill rapper um i'm not a scam rapper i am a drip rapper that's that's a whole nother way whole nother lane of lane of rap you feel me? yeah you know so i see i see the drip shit today up. man you know what i'm saying you got the grill with oh, all yeah, that was man. that like the first big thing you did yeah like for shit show first big thing it's like i always wanted to get that for shit show i always wanted to get a grill because i was a shorty i always wanted to get a grill for shit show 100 percent man so tell me about like yo come up on the rap game like how you link up with sauce like how you get the drip going oh like shit sauce like that's my big cousin that's my blood big cousin you feel me so it's like we out sauce is in the blood sauce is, and we've been sauce since we was born you see what i'm saying it's sauce shit always it always been sauce so you see i'm i linked up with twin just i was like i was like 15 16 you feel me I, I just took the money that I made on the block and flew out there, started fucking with them, and it was like, after that, it was like, it changed my life. It changed my life, just even going out there, seeing how Houston was as a young age, at 16 years old. So it was like 15, 16, so it was like, uh, that's what I want. I knew right then and there, when I flew out to Houston, Texas, that day, that's what I wanted to do. So you it's knew, just, say, as soon as you went out there, it was a rap. It's just show, it's a rap, 100%. I bet, so. You got a new project out, right? A new video yeah, just dropped. New video just dropped. New single, Young Don. Young Don, new single just dropped. Young Don for shit show. It's probably at like 150 in a week, 175 in a week. Right now. Yeah, it was world, world style. Yeah, so world yeah. style. World style per meal. Hell yeah, world style per meal. Feel me? I, I, I freestyled that really, though. I, I really put my mind in that hoe. Like, I really did that hoe. And I, I'm glad my fans fucking with that hit. What the fuck with it? Did you feel like things changed like when the music really started dropping? Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Everything changed. Like, like shit that I, I gotta do, shit that I gotta do now. Like, like I used shit that I had to used to do. I don't even do that shit no more. I don't gotta be on the block hustling. I don't gotta do that shit no more. This shit, it's lick, lucrative money now. See what I'm saying? Come all coming from the phone. So coming out of Chicago and then also being plugged down in Texas, like. Explain like how yo like in terms of growing your fan base like how you had to maneuver that play. I was like shit like I it was like my how I maneuvered in Houston it was like I right, I'm Sauce Walker blood little relative you see what I'm saying so like that really just in Houston that really put the market out for everything that like set me up for everything but like when I out here like I already had a little street name like little street name. Look, Coke, you feel me? I already had a street name going on for myself. And, and like, I've been in the streets. So, like, when they seen me being a rapper in the street, like, oh, that's Lil Bo, that he be off eight. That's Lil Bo off eight. I'll fuck with him. You see what I'm saying? So, like, now it's like them blending together is a whole nother way for me. Shit, sure, show. Sure. So, I seen Sauce that came out here. Like, yeah. like in the summer or something? Yeah, like that nigga grew up right here. We got a granny crib, couple houses down. Sauce like, from Chicago. Saying? Yeah, like he, he he not from Chicago. Like he a Houston baby, for shit, so don't get me wrong. He a Houston baby. But nigga, he went to Stag Elementary. Okay. He was right, he grew up right here on this block, you feel me? So it's like he he got some Chicago in him. I was finna say, he got I some ain't, Chicago I ain't in never him. know he's from Chicago, shit, but so. then when you say it though. He got some Chicago in him, for shit, When you shit, say it so. though, a lot, of his, a lot of his swag, a lot of how he moved, even on the pimp and all that, like, shit, so. that's that Chicago. Uh, uh, my daddy, my uncle, shit, we all, uh, my granddaddy, shit, that's, that's in my family, shit, so. That shit, all, that shit all through this motherfucker. This whole block, this whole block, like, the block from 74th, next block right here to 73rd Street. 
that shit been going on around here, like, it been going on. Shit so show. tell me, like, how was it when, like, there's a lot of artists that start sounding like Sauce, coming out like Sauce, and I know Sauce had already been in his grind for a minute, and a lot of them artists was, was from Chicago. Like, uh, like, how that shit flow, like, in terms of relationships with artists and niggas selling Sauce flow and all that type of shit? Well, like, shit, like, it came to a point where, like, he was really fucking with, he was really fucking with them niggas, like, I you feel me? Like, I wasn't in the game then, I you feel me? But he was really fucking with them niggas, showing them the way of how to do this, how to do that, because, you know, twin, we still independent to this day, and we still doing major label shit. So, at the end of the day, showing motherfuckers how to be a boss, how to be, how to do this, how to do that. And they just, like, they didn't, they didn't, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, give him that. Oh, this big bro, he gave like this. I got this from him. They ain't give it to him like that. They ain't, they ain't show that respect. So that's how that shit went. But at the end of the day, like, you feel me? No, not even trying to name drop, but famous Dex. See what I'm saying? Like, we was, bro was fucking with him. You see what I'm saying? But he was, that was a straight he was there, fucking man. with him. You feel me? He was fucking with him, showing him this, showing him that. But like, when it was time for him to really step out and sing, he went the Atlanta, the Atlanta way. You see what I'm saying? He ain't come down to where he really got his shit from. So, like, that's really shit like that happens and shit like that, you feel me? So, the situations like that. like that and just having a, a fan base in Texas but being from Chicago, did that, like, change how you, like, collab with Chicago artists? Like, how you build with Chicago artists? Yeah, yeah, because it's like now, it's like, it's me seeing, like, how people do shit in the, in the industry. Like, it was like me just sitting back. I'm an observer. I just sit back and I just watch shit, you feel me? I just sit back and watch. It was like I understand. I was understanding how people move, how people move as a, as they own self. So, at the end of the day, that helps me. Like I, I know not to fuck with him, or I, right, I'm a fuck with him. That's a, he. We we got real blood ties. We really hit each other up on some day to day basis type shit, type shit like that. Who you rocking with in Chicago? Well, shit, I I really fuck. I fuck with Z Money. Then I fuck with Z Money, and I fuck with that nigga Lil Mouse and shit like that. But other than that, I don't really got no. No rapper friends like that. I don't really be fucking around like that. It ain't no artist you try like trying to do a collab with or trying to like link up with. Um, shit, Chief Keith, shit, <laughs> Chief Keith, shit. I fuck with my nigga Keith like a motherfucker, but other than that, like shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with Z Money. Me and Z Money got some songs out, man. Man, uh, not out though. We got some songs coming on the way, actually. But me and Lil Mouse, we got some song. We got a song guy. We got some songs coming on the way too. Still, so like, I'm I'm collabing with a lot of motherfuckers though. For shit, so I'm collab with niggas that collab with me that fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So what's coming up? You know what I'm saying from South Gohan? Like, what's the next play? What's the next move? The next play is right now. The Baby Go album is on the way in a couple weeks. Coming soon. You feel me? It's on the way right now. The Baby Go on the way right now. The shit show is on the way right now. On all platforms, you feel me? It's gonna yeah. be the hottest shit out before the year. End, the shit you show. got any tours? You got anything coming um, up in 2020, maybe? Well, like, shit, the Baby Goat should have a tour. The Baby Goat should have a tour. We looking for cities right now. We 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 debating. We debating on going going out to you feel me? Like, we trying to see what LA and the, and the West Coast do right now. But we got our Houston and we got our Chicago. We got the Midwest to Houston set up. You feel me? But we trying to expand to the East Coast and the West Coast right now. Man, bro, so, hey, man, last words, final words, let the people know, man, like what, like anything you gotta say before we get up out of here? Shit, man, all I gotta say is shit, the Baby Goat album is gonna be the best album of y'all life, period. No questions, no doubts, no none of that, you feel me? The Baby Goat, I already got people trying to steal that, but, it is what it is, though. The baby go is on the way, period. Go! You already know, and I'm Rockwood Street certified. They pulled up on me on Ada, so I'm fucking with them for life. Hey. Shit show. Appreciate you, my nigga. Shit show.